This is a solution video for text and tests for page 278, question 22. It's a question to do with differentiation and tangents. So the function that I'm given is y equals 3 over x. And I want to get the slope of the tangent to this function because I'm aiming to work out the equation of the tangent eventually, which means that I need to differentiate. But the way it's set up at the moment, 3 over x, not the nicest thing to have to differentiate. So I'm going to rewrite that initially. This is 3x to the power of minus 1. So now I can differentiate and I get minus 3x to the power of minus 2. If you prefer, you can write this as minus 3 over x squared. Either will do since you're going to be using substitution in a moment. So the calculator can cope with either version. So I'm given a point to work with, which is the point 2, 3 over 2. The x part of this point is obviously 2. And I'm going to use this to work out the slope of the tangent at that particular point. So I sum simply substitute in the x and I get minus 3 over 4. So now I have the slope of the tangent. But of course, the tangent is a line, so I can also get its equation. Now, they're not specifically asking me for the equation of the tangent in this question, but it's going to be helpful in getting to the end of the question. So I have my slope and I have my point. And now I can get my equation using my y minus y1 formula. And I can tidy this up and write it in the form y equals mx plus c. And I end up with y equals minus 3 over 4x plus 3. So now, why was it necessary to get the equation of this line? Well, if we go back and look at the question, it tells us that the line that we're after finding the equation of the tangent goes through the x-axis at the point A and the y-axis at the point B. And because I have the equation of the tangent now, I can find those two points. So again, as always, if I can sketch, I'll sketch. So I've just drawn a sketch of my tangent here, of my line. And I want to know these two points, A and B. Now, one of these is extremely easy to find on the basis of what I've just done. So which one is it? Well, the B point is going to be the y-intercept, which coincides with my constant that I have here, since I have my equation in the form y equals mx plus c. So I can state straight away that B is 0, 3. I also need to find A, which is on the x-axis. And of course, when I'm looking at where the x-axis occurs, I'm looking at y equals to 0. So all I have to do is replace the y in my equation with 0 and then solve for x. So here's my equation with the zero subbed in, and 3 quarters of x is 3, and my x value comes out as 4. So then I can make the point A, A is the point 4, 0. Now I'm being asked to find the area of the triangle here that's been created by the x and the y axes and the line. So obviously the x and y axes are perpendicular, so I can just use the straight up formula for the area of the triangle of a half the base times the perpendicular height. And obviously here I know how long my base is going to be because I know that A is the point 4, 0, so it's a distance of 4 from the origin. So my base equals 4 and my height equals 3 because that's my distance that B is from the origin also. So by substituting into the formula for the area of a triangle, I get an answer of 6 units squared.